Mathematically, as you can see, it should be true that the ball should never touch the ground. But in reality, we see that the ball definitely touches the ground. So then, which one is true and how do we know that? That's why we need calculus. Assalamu alaikum, dear viewers. Today I'm going to talk about not about how to do calculus. Rather, how, why do we need calculus? So I'm going to talk about today. So I have four examples to present to you to understand this basic concept. First of all, let's start with an example of a girl or whoever you want right here. Right? And that person is carrying a ball. So I, I'll put the ball right here, even though it should be... If I make it smaller, even though it should be um, on the level of the hand. So here's the ball. Now the person decides that, of course, the ball will fall to the ground, right? So the person wants to know what will be the velocity at this point. This point, he named it B. So what will be the velocity at point B when the ball drops to point B? To come to point B, the ball traveled, let's say, 50 centimeter, right? And we know that the velocity is equals to displacement. I'll just write displacement using S, right? So basically, change of S over change of T, T is equal to time. So now, obviously, velocity is equals to your displacement is 50 centimeters and we're saying that this is all happening in let's say one second right it took one second for that so the velocity is a 50 remember this is centimeter per second so this is centimeter per second right and in velocity when you're using this we can't use centimeters we have to turn that into meter per second so this would be there are um 100 centimeters and one meter meaning the velocity is 0 0.5 meter per second but the person doesn't want the velocity at which it comes down the person wants the velocity exactly on point b at the time of point b so at that in that case all this is erased right and this becomes a new thing. The person basically wants the velocity uh, INS. That represents instantaneous. Instantaneous means at that point. So VINS. Uh, at that point, remember the displacement in that point is zero. Whereas the time, you know, it traveled one second to come down, not at that. At that point, he still has zero. And we know that zero over zero is undefined. But that can't be right. Unde undefined. But that can be right. So how do we really understand this? We have to use calculus. We have to use calculus to help us solve this problem. So I hope you understand one example of why we, we need calculus. Okay, now I'm going to give another example using this same problem. Okay, so now let's say the person knows that this is half of the entire path the ball should be traveling, right? So the person takes half of the rest of the half. So basically this, so basically it's half, right? Now it's a half at 50 centimeters, half of what happened, half plus, if you take half of the rest of the half, that should be up to here, which would be a fourth. Then they're saying out of the rest, so a plus one fourth. Then they're saying out of the rest one fourth space there is here, they're going to take half of that, which would be one eighth. One eighth plus, then the one eighth that is left right here, they're going to take half of that, which would be one sixteenth. I wrote it very small. So then the person decides that if it keeps on going and going and going, then this is going to be infinite. But, but in real life, we think the ball should touch the ground. 
So it keeps on going and if it keeps on going and going and going. Mathematically, as you can see, it should be true that the ball should never touch the ground. But in reality, we see that the ball definitely touches the ground. So then which one is true and how do we know that? That's why we need calculus. So this is the second example. My third example wouldn't be with this problem. Let's say that the same person went on vacation or somewhere, right? And here, let me erase this. And that person is standing, let's see right here. Right? And that person is standing on a cliff. And right here would be the ocean. So then the person, you know, we all like to throw, take rocks and throw them. The person wants to decide at what velocity or what angle, you know, all that. How should he put his trajectory? How should the rock's project trajectory be to reach the farthest amount of uh, distance to cover the most amount of distance possible? If I take a rock, Let's see, the rock is in my hand. Now that's the rock. If I throw the rock like this, it's a kind of person. So, she angles a bit, she uchukola So the person knows that can't be. Then the person thinks, what if I throw it horizontally? If I throw it like this, it's going to fall down right here. Probably. So then the person thinks that no, I will throw it at such an angle, probably go like this, cover most of the space. You know, it's going to like this and cover most of the space so then the person decides well yeah i know i'm supposed to throw it at that angle but what exact angle should that be what should be the velocity how do you figure this out that is why we need calculus this was example number three the fourth example will be from the same problem i'll just erase uh these two lines right here actually right so now the person thinks, well, okay, I know I'm supposed to throw it at some, you know, some sort of angle, some sort of uh, velocity. But then well, how would we figure out the area underneath right here? So the person thinks, well, a rectangle would usually be, you know, length times width. So it'd probably go like this, right? But the person thinks there's more to the left. And if I, even if I draw a rectangle, there's more to the curve right here, up top. So how would I figure that out? Ita korte amader, ita korte amader calculus lagde. So dear viewers, I hope you all understood the kibabe amader ka how and why do we need calculus? Ebang ami apna dekhe koi kya four real life um, example de ami apna dekhe dekhe dilam. If you all enjoyed this video, thank you and assalamualaikum.